in Google Sites, when you make a new page, you're going to be able to title the page. I'm going to go ahead and title this one Response to Reading. And what I want to be able to do is to put the content side by side with the accountability piece where the students will fill out a Google form. So I'm going to need a two column layout. So I'm going to come up to the top where it says layout. I'm going to click on that. And I'm going to choose two column. In this case, I'm going to do two column simple. And now I have two sides that I'm able to put things on. On the left side, I'm going to put my content. This might be a YouTube video. It might be an image the students have to respond to. It might be copy and paste from the curriculum. It might just be me typing out my steps. So I'm going to go ahead here and I'm going to go under the insert menu. You'll notice I have lots of things that I can insert into a Google page. And in this case, I'm going to insert an image. And I've actually got a little snippet from a Little Red Riding Hood book. And I'm going to get that off of my desktop. This is on Google Books. So I'm able to insert this. Now you notice it's, it's pretty large. It's actually spilling over into the next side. So once I insert, I have these options for small, medium, and large. So if I would like to resize it according to their presets, I can do that. So I'll go ahead and make it large, so long as it's big enough for the students to see, obviously. And I'm going to come over to the right-hand side. I'm going to click and put my cursor in the second column. And in this case, I'm going to want to insert, not an image, but I want to insert a spreadsheet form. Now you have to be careful because the difference between a spreadsheet and a spreadsheet form, a spreadsheet form, when you fill out a form, it goes into a spreadsheet but it's going to show the form. If you choose spreadsheet, it's going to show the spreadsheet side of it. So even this is a little bit confusing possibly, you really want to make sure you're doing spreadsheet form. Make sure it has the word form. And then the forms that I have recently should show up here. Response to reading. And you can choose to check or uncheck these boxes. I'm going to go ahead and hit save. Before you do that, you might want to check on the height. If you have a long form for them to fill out, you might want to make the height more pixels. And so what you'll notice is that a gray blob kind of gets inserted in there. But when I push save, it's going to show up. So I'm going to go up here to the top and hit save. And you'll notice that I have side by side, I have the form on the right and the content on the left. So theoretically, the students would read the reading passage and then respond to the reading by answering all of the questions. Just a suggestion to always ask for their email address when filling out the form so that you can email back the students' feedback if you want to.